that you got saved, when that really took place. It can't happen outside of this. The moment that took place, the Holy Spirit lived inside of you. So that would have been 6 or 16 or 46, doesn't matter. When you received Christ your Savior, the Holy Spirit indwelt you. You may have grieved him, you may have quenched him, but he's there. If you know Christ your Savior, what you need to do is allow him to transform your life from the inside out. He is the only one who can truly help you understand God. He's the only one who's with you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. His job is to, according to Jesus in the Bible, is to testify about everything Jesus ever said. His job is to speak into you. He's like, I use no stuff. His job is to say, okay, you, you, I don't know the whole Bible. Okay, you don't have to know the whole Bible. His job is to show you and to demonstrate to you and, and, and help you understand the biblical understanding of who God was, who Jesus is, how God wants to operate. His job is to wash you and cleanse you from the inside out and make you brand new. So when you say, but God can't really, I mean, I know God sent his son, he loved the world, okay, I get that, but the love me part is it really a struggle because I made some mistakes. God can't really love me. And it's the Holy Spirit who will say to you, oh, stop, that's not right. That thought didn't come from God. That emotion, that didn't come from God. And he's the one who replaces that with the truth all of a sudden. He's the one who says, here's what God speaks into you right now. You know, how great is the love of God that he has called us his children, that he lavished, the, the Bible's word is, he lavished his love out upon us, that he called us the children of God. How amazing is that truth? We're like, we walk around feeling like we're not loved all the time. We walk around feeling like God isn't, he's not proud of us, he doesn't care about us, he's not with us, he's not walking with us in our schools or our homes, he's not paying attention to us. And the whole time, God is loving you. He is, I just made a mistake. He knows you made a mistake. He loves you. He sees you in Jesus. It's like he puts on these glasses. He doesn't see you and you're sitting. You ready for this? The moment that you, he died, Jesus died on the cross, all the sin of all mankind is placed on that. And then what took place was he created this process by which when you come to Christ, you no longer are seeing your sin. You're now seen in Jesus. 